TVR stand. Now TVR are one of the only companies that are actually doing anything new at this year's motor show. They've got three model launches. One of them is this baby, the V12, or the Beastie as the boys from Blackpool have decided to call it. We're going to go racing. Um, we've been doing some GT racing for a few years now, but uh, although the cars are recognised as handling really sweetly, we have always been shorter horses, so uh, never a company to do things in halves. We are building another new engine, which is a 7-litre V12, 660 brake horsepower, which should be enough to uh, sort the others out. And then, of course, because there's a GT car, we are going to build versions for the road as well. How many are you planning to sell on the road? Uh, we, I am I mean, it's going to be over £100,000. It very much will be a racing car still, uh, even if you can drive it on the road. But uh, we've already been a little bit surprised and we thought maybe we'd get one or two orders over the duration of the show. By 10 o'clock this morning, we had three deposits. Well, from looking at it, it just really doesn't surprise me. You really are truly the biggest British car manufacturer, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, in terms of number of cars we build, yes, we are. Those numbers at the moment? We're just going up to 1,700 cars a year. Uh, that'll be 2,200 within 12 months' time. That's pretty good. Who owns TBR? One man, uh, Peter Wheeler. Uh, lives in Blackpool, runs the company, races the cars, and uh, owns it lock, stock, and barrel. Well, the man who's got an opinion on absolutely everything, Mike Rutherford, what does he think of TBR's new baby? Uh, when you talk about the new baby, are you talking about the PR man? Um, I think it's marvellous. They do look very young. He, he must be about 12. Um, lovely bloke, though. Um, the new car, I mean, you, we've got to put this car into context. This really is the only genuinely new car at the British Motor Show. This is the only car that has really surprised people like you and I. We came here looking for a brand new car. This is it. V12, about six, seven litre. Oh, I, I, you know, the ultimate muscle car. And it's a British car. It might cost 150 grand, but thank God there's a little company up in Blackpool a sort of cottage industry company that are bringing out something like this and there's more an awful, power. There's an awful lot of good things come out of the north of England, I must say that. Absolutely, and I tell you what, I, I just wonder how much help a company like this gets from the, the from the British government, for example. The, the Department of Trade and Industry goes around the world are trying to attract the Koreans and the Japanese to Britain. They actually hand out tens of millions of pounds to those companies. I'm not sure that TVR in Blackpool get too much state aid, and they should, because if we're not very, very careful, a company like this will find it difficult to survive. and. You know, it will be the same old story, a foreign competitor will come in, a predator almost, and snap it up and it will become foreign owned. And we don't want this. We want this, this company to stay British. And I've got to say, they're doing a great job. This is Britain's largest, truly British car manufacturer. Once this one goes, there's nothing left. And before everybody says, well, what about Aston Martin? What about Lotus? And what about Jaguar? They're all owned by foreign companies. This is a British owned company and it's owned by you know, the archetypal English eccentric, and that's what we need. So what do you reckon, Mike? Should we put our names down for a test drive then, or what? Well, I think it's going to have to be a test drive because, you know, it's an expensive car, a very expensive car, 150 grand between us. We're never going to have 150 grand to spend on a car. So I would say, though, quite seriously, if anybody's doing the numbers this weekend and they're doing the lottery, the numbers to remember are 12 and 7, Project 12-7, because if you win the lottery, this is the car to spend your money on.